You said this was 15 years in the making. What's the conversation that we're having 15 years from now? What's going on well, in our skies? In, in 2018, there were about 2,000 working satellites in space. Today, it's about 3,500. By the end of this year, it'll be nearly 5,000. In 15 years' time, there'll not only be 100,000 satellites up there, but I believe we'll have all of our server farms or data centers, as people call them in space. We'll have most of our broadband from space. We will have mobile phones that work anywhere in the world because they'll be satellite-enabled. We'll be beaming down microwave power to receiving stations all over the planet and getting 24-7 reliable microwave solar energy from space. What about we will be taking the heat out of the atmosphere, literally. Space has to be industrialized if 11 billion people are going to survive on this planet in 15 years' time. What about beyond communication? What does it mean for, for us actually visiting space, for the normal everyday person actually being in the skies? Well, I think as a result of what Galactic is doing at the moment, different to Blue Origin, the thing about the Galactic system is it's the prototype for being able to travel around the planet outside the atmosphere and not use the precious atmosphere for taking people from one side of the planet to the other. It's the beginning of, of, of hypersonic travel. There are companies developing motors which will allow a galactic type ship in a few years time to travel at three or 4,000 miles an hour around the planet, you know, 8,000 kilometers an hour. And uh, that's like the reaction engine being developed in the UK at the moment. And there'll be a huge change in investment what people will be able to do is start investing in these space companies directly in a way they've only been able to do with a couple of SPACs in America to date, like Virgin Galactic.